What I look for in the memories of your franchise owner, um, commitment. This is not a franchise that you're going to buy and sell right away because it's a relationship driven business. And by that I mean with your referral marketing, that's going to be an important aspect of it. Um, it's going to take time to cultivate um, those relationships, maintain them, and build them. And it's also a relationship business with just your individual, the consumers that come in. Um, you'll find that they have a story to tell and they want to tell it to you, and uh, oftentimes anyway. And um, our store actually lends itself to being able to do that. It's a comfortable setting where you can sit down on the couch and, and people feel relaxed there and stuff. It's a, it's a bit subdued but not dark and things like that. Um, so you will find that um, you, you're going to want to be in it. You're going to want to be committed to being there. The other part of it is, is um, I think you're going to have to be compassionate. You're going to have to be the type of person that can read an individual maybe when they walk in the door and get a sense of where they're at. Um, obviously, anybody that's coming in the door probably for the most part is somebody that's going through a situation or has gone through something that's still that they're still dealing with, even if it's many years ago. Um, so be prepared to, the, the franchise owner needs to be prepared to react to the different types of people and situations that he's, um, that's put in front of them on a daily basis. And then uh, I think um, along with the compassion, just somebody that um, really um, is blessed when they help somebody else. Because what you'll find is um, through your helping somebody complete um, a memorial to, for a loved one or a pet, um, there's a genuine gratification in, in making just you know, a horrible situation in people's lives just a little bit better because you were able to fulfill something for them that they were, they were wanting.